Hello everyone. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Before I start anything, no one look at my thumbnail because my nail came off, okay? Um, anyway, this video is gonna be half an unboxing and then half setting up for a collection because in case you don't know, I am gonna be collecting OT4 50-50. I've talked about it a little bit on my Instagram and I'll talk a little bit more about it in this video too, but I'm really excited because I've never collected full group for anything. And so when I got really into 50-50, I was like, this is perfect because they're a newer group, so it'll be easier. And also there's only four members. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the unboxing just because I feel like that's what more people are going to care about. And then we can like worry about this in just a second. Okay, before we start with the actual unboxing, um, they also sent me this. I got my album from K-Town. I'm assuming this is just some kind of pre-order benefit that didn't come inside the album. I think they're just stickers, right? Yeah. I couldn't remember if these albums had K-Town pre-order benefits. I was really hoping they would, um, just because the more photo cards, the merrier. But um, I guess these are cute. So we're going to just start, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. They're so cute. Let's see if I can find the stuff. I think this album comes with two photo cards. I think I took everything out now. <laughs> I guess we're starting with the disc. Cute. So this is 5050's um, first comeback. They debuted last year. Um, and actually, the day that Hire came out, like the music video came out, I got it recommended in my YouTube. So I watched it and I liked it, but it didn't stick with me enough for me to put out my playlist until like, I think a few weeks later, it was like stuck in my head. So I tried to find it again. And then when I found it, I put it on my playlist. And then I listened to the B-sides and I was like, wow. <gasps> Did I do that? What the hell? Okay, well... <laughs> Anyway, and then I started watching like their content and stuff. And then I was like, wow, I really like these girls. And I couldn't pick a bias or anything. I still don't think I have a bias. It's hard, which is the whole reason why I decided to collect OT4 in the first place. Higher was uh, one of my favorite songs of 2022. And since I couldn't pick a bias, like I liked them all basically equally. I couldn't decide who was like my favorite. I was like, why don't I just collect OT4? Cause I've been wanting to collect OT something like OT, like full group for a group for a while. And I've been leading towards twice, you know, but twice is a lot because there's nine of them and they've been active for eight years now. So it's a lot of cards to go and back collect, but 50-50 um, would be easy because they only have two albums so far, two physical releases. And there's only four members, so I thought instead of forcing myself to pick a bias or pick one member to collect, I can just collect four of them or all four of them. So a couple months ago, I decided I was going to do that, but I was kind of waiting because that was around the time where I was like picking up my WJSN collection and my Seraphim collection. I was like, I'm just gonna wait a little longer. But I did obviously, obviously, pre-order Cupid so I could be ready. Um, and the albums came out like, oh, I missed something. Cute little sticker. The physical release happened like weeks after um, the actual songs came out or the song. I guess it's the song, the English version, and then the instrumental. So it feels like I'm super late on this unboxing, but the physical albums only came out like last week, so I'm not that late. Maybe by the time this video goes up, it'll be super late, but I also have not talked about this photo book at all, but I really, really like this concept. Well, actually, both of the concepts that are in here, I really like both of them. For like a Nugu group, or like I guess at the time they were Nugu because now they're <laughs> not so much. Now they're literally um on the billboard hot 100 um so i don't know if you can count that as nugu anymore but um at the time when these teaser pictures came out i was like wow they have some budget <laughs> i don't know i think these are really like nice high quality pictures for the amount of money that they're working with i hope like now that they have the cupid money <laughs> um i hope their next comeback is even crazier but cupid blew up on tiktok so now i think everyone's gonna have their eyes on them to release something as good as Cupid is again, or Higher. Honestly, I think Higher should have gotten the Cupid treatment because Higher is like the best song I've ever heard, but all right, that's that photo book. Um, there's actually so many things over here. Um, so we saw the sticker, oops. We saw the sticker that I accidentally left in there. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, more stickers. Okay, so these must be pre-order because there's more stickers in the actual albums. And these ones are cute. Bookmark, I wonder if this is random member. I wonder, is this a random member? I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna pull it out. <gasps> is this <a> random member? <gasps> oh, no, it's not. I was like, oh my gosh, Shio. No, I didn't. It is full group. Cute. Oh, wait. That's so weird, because this is not, wait, is it? No, it's not. This is 
two different pictures. Kina and Aaron are in their own picture, and then Sana and Chia are in a separate picture that's just, that's so weird. I've never seen a, a poster like that before, but I'm assuming this is a group postcard based on the signatures on the back, so let's, oh, it's not, oh my gosh, it's a unit. I really thought it was gonna be a group one because of the signatures on the back, but it's just Kina and Aaron, who are also the ones who have their own section on this side of the poster. That's irrelevant, but okay. I don't know if this is random member or not. I'm gonna hide the photo cards real quick, but I don't know if this is random member or not, but we're about to find out. It oh, it is, oh, it's not. <laughs> oh, can you focus? Hello? Stop focusing, there we go. I, for hello? <laughs> stop, stop. There we go. Can it stop focusing on what I don't want it to focus on? Okay, let's see, I don't remember. Where did I put the photo cards? Where did I put them? Oh, right here, okay. I don't know if there's actually signatures on the back or not, but I'm scared that there are. I'm just gonna flip it over. I have both of them in my hand. Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay, one, two, three. <gasps> Sen oh, the hat is so cute. We got Senna for the first one. These photo cards are so good. Okay, I'm just gonna move this one out of the way. <gasps> Adam! Oh my gosh, okay. So cute. I, my goal is I want to pull at least one of every member. I know that's really unrealistic, but I hope in the black version now that we pull Shio and Kina because that would just be perfect. But here are the two that we got for the first one. Oh, and here's the backs. The backs are so cute. I love this one. Cute. Okay. Yay. Okay. So that was the nerd version, which is doesn't match the concept at all. I don't know why they called it that, but um, that was that version. Okay. I think I got everything. Here is the black version. Here's the disc for this one. Oh, it's a little record, that's cute. So, this is the black version. I think, and you know, honestly, I feel like I say this in every single one of my unboxings, but I always prefer colorful concepts over um, like black and white concepts. But honestly, this might be like the first time ever that I prefer a black and white concept over the colorful concepts. Don't get me wrong, I loved the, the, like, the nerd concept, all the colors and like, um, how cute they were in that, but I don't know. This is just another example of like when these teasers came out, I was like, this is so high budget for what I was expecting. Even compared to just their debut, I feel like, and maybe I'm just making it, like maybe it's not actually that much more high budget than, <laughs> than what I'm like thinking it is, but to me, like these pictures are insane. Also, Aran looks like Yugi from um, Idol with this little wig. I think in one of the videos they were saying that they almost gave it to Senna, but then um, like Adan tried it on or something, I don't remember, and then ended up giving her the bob wig, um, and she looks so good with it, um, so I vote for the next comeback, she should have short hair, because look at that, does, not, does she not look like Yugi from Idol? She does. And as for the track list, because usually for the um, photo books I like to talk about the track list while I'm looking through them, but there's not much <laughs> to talk about for this one. Um, because, like I said earlier, it's literally just Cupid, Cupid English version, or the twin version. Um, oh, that's cute. The little, <laughs> the little uh, font they chose is so cute. Um, and then the instrumental, like, there's not even <laughs> any other songs on it. When I first listened to the twin version of Cupid, though, I was, like, so confused. I was like, what makes this a twin version? And then I realized that there was no Senna or Kina in it, which I think is so weird, like, Oh, I missed the sticker again. That's the second time. 5050 is weird with like their line distributions. Like for their first album, it's kind of the same thing. Like Kina and Senna don't get like any lines in like any of the songs except for Higher. But even in Higher, they barely get anything. Um, and then for this album, they just completely cut them out of the English version, which I thought is was weird because I love Kina's rap in Cupid. And then they, every time the twin version is playing and it gets to the rap part, I always accidentally sing her rap part because I forget it's not there. And they also don't have the key change in the twin version, which I don't get. So I think it's funny that the twin version is the one that's blowing up because not even all the members are in it. Still so happy for them though. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day when a black and white concept um, was gonna be my, like the one I preferred over a colorful concept, but here we are. Okay. And that's the photo book for the black version. I also prefer this cover over the other cover too. So. Okay, I'm assuming this is gonna be another Oh, more stickers, yep. Cute. Um, and I'm assuming this is gonna be another group poster. <gasps> wow. Oh, I'm still zoomed in. There we go. Wow, okay, let's see. <gasps> oh, I have to hang this one up. Oh yeah. Oh, it's doing the, it's doing the thing again. I'll still hang it up. I think that's so interesting. Cute. Here's the sticker again. 
And then I'm assuming this is again gonna be a group version. It is cute. She kind of looks like um, Wednesday Adams with that outfit. Oh shit! This one has a signature on it. But does that mean that's who I think it is? We're gonna get to that in a second. We're gonna come back to that. Here is the postcard. <gasps> so for the other one, it's units, but I guess for this one, unless it's all like random, whoops, random postcard, I don't know. I don't know, I have not looked into the like in big inclusions, so I have no idea. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm pretty sure this top one is gonna be Kina because I saw the K in her signature. So let's see, <gasps> it is! Okay, so if I can just pull Shio for this last photo card, then I will have pulled one of everybody. Everyone cross your fingers. Oh, <laughs> I tried to pull it off and I missed, okay. <gasps> okay, no, it's not Shio, it's Adon again. But that's totally okay, we got three out of four members, I'll take that. Cute, I love this Kina card, okay. Let me go ahead and display my little inclusions, I guess. I don't know. There we go. There. Is, every, is everyone in? <laughs> I just told my dad to stop playing guitar, so if you heard him playing guitar, I'm really sorry about that. So that's all for the unboxing portion. Um, now I'm going to actually do the like setting up for part. I'm officially in my A5 binder era. This is my first ever A5 binder. I've only ever had a four binders before and then like collect books i have this but considering i'm going to be collecting full group for a group that has four members in it i figured there's ever been a time for me to use an a5 binder it's now i do have this random <laughs> this is um teddy bear suman sticker that i just threw in here when i got this binder um also, this is not like a, an official Beyond D binder. I think it's like a dupe off Amazon. So just in case you're wondering, I'll probably put the link to it in the description of this video in case you're interested. And I was hoping I was going to get like a K-Town pre-order card so I could put it in this front cover, but they didn't do K-Town pops. So I think for now I can just put this sticker in here. If I can get this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Is that cute? I mean, it's better than having nothing there, so I think I'm just gonna go with it. I already pre-made fillers. I feel like there's something else I need to say, but I think I've said it all. Like, I'm collecting OT- there's a hair. I'm collecting OT4, there's nothing really else for me to say. I have the templates here for the 50 and then for Cupid. Um, for now, I'm gonna move these out of the way. And also, Brad, 8Ratty, is also starting his 50-50 collection. Um, and he was talking about in his video how none of these photo cards are like sets really like they don't really work well together Sorry, the focus is so weird. Adans are all in the same outfit in the same place But then Shio all four of hers are different outfits different places and then like Senna has two in the same and two in the same and then Kina has two in the same like it's all different I know in Brad's video he like made up his own sets how he wanted and that was my original plan too but I really actually like how the person who made this template Jin Nu Yuns on Twitter <laughs> and Instagram um, made their sets because I think this is probably how I'd end up doing it anyway. I might move this Shio to be here, like switch these two. I'm not completely sure yet, but I'm not worried about it because I literally have zero of these cards yet. That's kind of just like me prefacing. So here's my A5 binder. I already put in all the pages I'm going to need. It's going to be 10 pages. I am going to be putting them in age order instead of leader age order because that's how I do all my collections. If I collect like OT sets for, I do them age and then leader. Um, so Kina actually goes first and then Senna, even though Senna is the leader. So it's going to go Kina, Senna, Shio, and then Aran. Also, I really don't think, I don't associate 50-50 with green. I would say their color is more pink, if anything, but I think I've talked about this too before. I literally have so many green sticky notes and like none pink, no pink left. So I went with green just because I had them. But anyway, while I'm putting these away, let me go ahead and tell a little story. So... Um, like I was kind of saying earlier, I decided to collect 50-50 a long time ago, or not a long time ago, but a while ago, and I was actually going to make this video about a month ago. My plan was to order um, two copies of the 50, um, which is their debut, and then I was going to unbox them on this channel, and then also like do the same thing I'm doing right now, basically, but instead of doing it with Cupid, I was going to do it with the 50. So I actually ordered the two albums. Also, if I'm moving the binder around too much, I'm sorry. Um, so I bought the albums. They were supposed to come at the beginning of March. And they never did. Like the um, USPS thing said it arrived in my mailbox, but it never did. So I called my post office. I called or I submitted a claim with USPS and they couldn't find it. So they lost my like $60 package of my 50-50 albums. And so that's kind of the reason why this video has been pushed off for so long. 
But I got so like sad and annoyed that my albums got lost that I just didn't rebuy them. I did recently rebuy them, so hopefully those should be arriving soon and then I can make like a little cover too because I'm buying two of the album so i can make a little a5 cover and then i'll also have some or some of the 50 poles to actually put away in here but yeah i just decided to wait off for this video and just make it my cupid unboxing because i already pre-ordered the cupid albums and obviously here they are so it was super annoying because like 60 dollars, even though on the grand grand scheme of things it's not a lot of money but it is a lot of money <laughs> especially because i had to rebuy it again so like i it's just so annoying i had to pay like basically double the price so that's all of um the 50 I have the four album card sets and then the IDs are gonna go in the back. I'm hoping that 50-50 isn't gonna be too hard to collect, especially because I'm collecting OT4, it's obviously gonna be a little bit harder um, just because of the amount of members I'm collecting, or four is not that much, but comparatively. But when I was first um, looking into collecting OT4 50-50, it was before they'd like blown up or anything. So their um, sale tags on Instagram had like less than 100 posts each. Um, I think now <laughs> you can have a little, you have a little bit better luck finding <laughs> their stuff. Actually, I just checked the sale tag a couple days ago and now they have over a thousand posts. So definitely shouldn't be as hard it was, as it was gonna be <laughs> since I started gaining some recognition. So I am worried though, because the 50, their debut album, I feel like no one really bought. So not many people have the cards for their debut. But since it's still in print and stuff, I'm sure that won't be like a big issue. Uh, I don't think I grabbed enough pages. Okay. I only have 20 pages in total because this is just what came with the binder when I bought it off Amazon. I should definitely be good for now, but as long as their next album doesn't have any more than nine photo cards per member, which would be crazy. And at that point, you know, <laughs> we'll see if I um, continue to collect OT4. If this um, collection does get too overwhelming for me, I might downsize it. I don't want to drop them because I love 50-50 so much. I wouldn't drop their collection entirely, but I would, I might downsize to like just two members or something, even though I don't even know what two members they would be. Because <laughs> the whole reason I'm collecting 50-50 in the first place is because I couldn't decide a bias. Oh, what? <laughs> I don't know how this happened, but the third black set is in here before the first one. Whoops. Okay. What was I saying? I've just never collected um, full group for any any group ever before. I'm really excited because, um, well, I've collected OT9 twice for like their most recent two albums. So that doesn't, it's not really the same because it's not like all of their cards. I'm just excited to like be able to like buy albums for this group and like not care who I pull because it won't affect my collection at all as long as there's no dupes, obviously. But like if I go to the store and buy a 50-50 album, I can like keep any member I pull. I don't have to worry about trading. Again, unless it's a dupe. Okay, so that's everything set up in here. I never even showed the Cupid template, but here's the Cupid template. It's by the same girl who made this one. Um, and I haven't even looked too hard at these sets. I think I also might just follow these sets too, because I think they look... I really like this black set. I think the only thing I might change is I might switch these two add-on cards whoops maybe these two add-on cards too i do think it's weird that they have like nerd concept cards in the black concept like wait they have like <laughs> let me rephrase that they have nerd concepts in the black concept cards or the black cards and like vice versa but i'm not i'm not in the frame is what i'm not i'm not worried about it i think i'm just gonna i'm just gonna follow this one pretty much um to the t except for maybe these two add-on cards let me figure out what cards I do have. Oh, I don't even have them sleeved. I probably do that. I did buy um, sleeves specifically for my A5 binder because my dragon shield sleeves wouldn't fit, obviously. I don't know what brand they are, but I like them because they're not super flimsy. Um, I don't really like flimsy sleeves for like the cards that I put in my binders. I don't mind them if I'm like trading. I bought these on Amazon. I'm gonna have to try to find where I like the link for them so I can put those in the description as well. Um, but they're like not as thick as the dragon shield ones, but they're still they're still like decently thick So I like those ones um, and also they fit in the a5 binder, which is the most important part. So okay now they're sleeved So this add-on is for the first nerd set So this one <laughs> and I was actually thinking about it when I was making these fillers because I was making them earlier today Actually, I was like maybe I should not make the fillers till after I unbox these albums because now <laughs> like I made oop, I made this for no reason, but it's fine and this Senna is for the the third set. So she'll go here. 
Oh my gosh, this is so exciting, my first 50-50 photo card. Yay, okay, so those are my two nerd version pulls. And then, this autumn card is for the first set. In she goes. So no Shio photo cards um, in this video, but, um, and then this Kina is for the last set. I'll make it my goal, I think, to have a Shio photo card. Maybe by the time I film a storing photo cards video. I'm so sorry that I'm so bad at <laughs> keeping the A5 binder like in place, but yay! I'm actually so excited. Here is my 50/50 binder, and it's gonna look way less ugly when I actually have like a cover to cover the um, the front with. But I'll do a little flip through. So here we have um, the 50 cards. This is the first set the second set, <laughs> the third set, the fourth set, and the IDs. And then for Cupid, I have one add-on card for the nerd version. And then I have one Santa card for the nerd version. And then for the black version, I have another add-on card and a Kina card. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I'm actually so ecstatic about this. I'm so excited. I can't wait to fill it up. I don't know what to do now. Should I go on Mercari Japan and see if I can find some more Cupid cards? I don't know. I think my favorite pull from today was my Seno card. That's so good. All right. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and comment and subscribe. And if you like 50-50, comment your favorite 50-50 song and your 50-50 bias. My favorite 50-50 song is Tell Me. And I don't have a bias. <laughs> I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you for bearing with me. <laughs> Bye.